Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my summer TBR to share with you and I have a good bit here. I haven't counted them all yet but definitely a good bit and first I am going to start with my Kindle books that I would like to read. I have them written down here in my bullet journal and I will go ahead and insert a picture in here beside me and I have uh, Book Lovers by Emily Henry. That is something that um, I definitely want to get to. I did purchase it. It just hasn't arrived yet. So hopefully when that arrives, I will be able to get to that. I wanted to read it before the Sugar and Spice Live, which is on my birthday, June 27th. But I don't think it will arrive in time, unfortunately. But I still do want to read it this summer. As you know, Emily Henry is a staple in the summer reading so definitely want to get to that one when I can and this is about two people that work in the publishing industry and I know that it has a sister relationship in there as well marketed as, marketed as enemies to lover as Emily Henry usually does um, some sort of thing with that and that's all I really know about it and then next is My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. I absolutely love Tessa Bailey. And this is, I believe, her independently published book. And it is about a second grade teacher and a detective, um, I believe it is. And she goes ahead and goes on vacation and finds dead bodies in her Airbnb. And she kind of wants to work along with him and... Um, you know, s help solve this mystery as part of her vacation. Um, not something I would like to do, but that's up to her. Um, and then next is something that comes out in August and it is Love in the Time of Serial Killers. I think this is my only book that I have on here that is not currently out yet, but it does come out August 1st, I believe. And this is by Alicia Thompson. And this is just about a main character who is obsessed with true crime and thinks her neighbor might be some kind of serial killer. That's all I really know about it. I do have an arc, so I do hope to get to it in July. And then I have next, I have Blindside by Candy Steiner. This is the Sugar and Spice book club pick for the month of July. I have read Fair Catch and it is like a standalone series, I guess. But Clay, the main character from Blind to Side, is in that other book. And this is a sports romance. It's supposed to be very, very steamy, fake dating, um, virgin heroine. And that's all I really know about it. But really excited for another sports romance from Candy Steiner. She is quickly becoming one of my favorite authors. Next, I have Twisted Games by Anna Huang. And I have read Twisted Love. And I really need to continue on with the series. There's Twisted Love, Twisted Games, Twisted Hate, and then the newest one, Twisted Lies, comes out, I think, on June 30th. So very, very soon. So I really want to get caught up in that series a little bit more. And Twisted Games is a bodyguard princess romance, I believe. And then I really want to read Birthday Girl really, really soon. Um would like to read it before the end of June since my birthday is at the end of June. I thought Birthday Girl would be really fun to read in my birthday month and this is a age gaps ex-boyfriend's father romance. Really been liking those lately so excited to finally get to like the OG one that everybody loves. And then next I have Give Me More by Sarah Kate. This is her third book in the Salicious Players Club series and I absolutely love the first two so cannot wait to get to the third one and the fourth one is coming out this summer as well so really want to keep up with that series and don't and I don't want to fall too behind and then two more romances that I have here um which are already out as well but I did have arcs I just didn't get to read them in time so I hope to read them very soon which is Fake It Till You Bake It by Jamie Wesley and this is about a girl that was on The Bachelor type of show and then she didn't choose the guy, any guy. And then she works in, in a bakery run by a professional football player and some of his teammates, I believe. So 
really excited for that like foodie bakery kind of setting plus a sports football kind of setting coming together and really excited to read this one. And next is Maggie Moves On by Lucy Score. I really liked the Lucy Score book that I have read and cannot wait to read more by her. And then I will go ahead and get into some thriller picks that I have. First is I The Lies I Tell by Julie Clark. This is kind of, um, I know Book of the Month was kind of like pitching at as if you like the Tinder Swindler, like kind of like con artist. This is kind of that kind of book. So sounds really interesting. And I've seen like some mixed reviews. So I'm excited to form my own opinion on that one. And then Blood Sugar by Sasha Rothschild. This is one of Haley Hughes' best books so far this year, and I'm really excited to get to it. The cover of it is so gorgeous, and it sounds really, really good. It's about a therapist, I believe, and she is accused of four murders, but she only committed three of them, and one of the murders was her husband, I believe. So I'm really excited to get to that one, and that one seems like a perfect summer thriller. And then speaking of another perfect summer thriller, that is in all of my ebooks. And next I have a library book here that I really want to get to before I have to return it. Sorry about the glare, but it is The Counselors by Jessica Goodman. It is the author of They'll Never Catch Us. I have not read any of these books, that, any other books from this author, but I am very excited for this one. And it is in my recent library haul that I just posted. And it is just a camp setting thriller and I'm really excited to get to it and it does involve some friends and secret all of that good YA thriller all of those good YA thriller things and then two other thrillers before I get into some more romances are The Collective by Allison Gailey, Galen and this is a book of the month pick from November last year so I really need to get to it and it is about a mother pretty much seeking to get revenge for her daughter's death and she kind of gets into a group of other mothers and it says just how far will a grief-stricken mother go to right a tragic wrong and I'm really excited to get to this one as well and then the last thriller that I have on this list I have been reading less thrillers but getting back into them um really been getting back into them since I've read Hidden Pictures. I absolutely love that thriller. If you have not read that one this summer, definitely read that one. But this one is a perfect summer thriller. wanted to read it um, whenever it came out and I just never got to it. It does not have a date on here, but I know that it was like a Reese's Book Club pick. I don't know if it was from this year or last year, but it is pretty fairly recent. It's called We Were Never Here by Andrea Bartz. And it is about two friends and a deadly backpacking trip. And it says a backpacking trip has deadly consequences in this chilling new novel. And it's about friends Emily and Kristen in their annual reunion trip and the women are feeling closer than ever. But on last night, on the last night of the trip, in, Emily enters their hostile suite to find blood and broken glass on the floor. Kristen says that the cute backpacker she brought to their room attacked her and she has no choice but to kill him in self-defense. So we will see about that friendship and how that turns out. And then next is another library. This was in my library hall as well. This is the book of the summer. Like everybody is reading this or wants to read it this summer. And it is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Emily Henry blurbed it and said it was a radiant debut. I just saw that Colleen Hoover read it in like a day and this is compared to Love and Other Words and it is a second chance best friends to lovers romance. Really excited to get to this one. And next is books off of my own shelf that I grabbed here. So I have Dating Dr. Dill. Really want to get to this one. I've heard there's like some steamy scenes. I see some mixed media. And I've heard this one is a really good one. And I believe it is a marriage of convenience. And the doctor is like on a doctor kind of show. So really excited to get to that one. And then I have Love and Other Disasters. I just saw this on um, Books Past Bedtimes, like underrated 
romances and underrated books and it is by Anita Kelly. It is a January 2022 book of the month pick and I just haven't got to it yet and this is definitely a perfect like baking kind of romance as well and it is has trans rep and I've heard that it does it really really well so excited to get to that one. Sorry for me saying and so much. I just noticed that. But next I have, of course, the TV shows and movies I want to watch are books, so I need to read the books first. This um, just turned into a series. The Summer I Turned Pretty. Let me see if I can get it in order here. I have The Summer I Turned Pretty. It's Not Summer Without You, I believe, is next. And then We'll Always Have Summer. I was able to get all three of these books on Pango. I had money on there already. And I was able to get all three of these from the same seller. So I lucked out on that one. And I absolutely love these new covers. I absolutely loved To All the Boys I Loved Before and love those movies. So this is the same author as To All the Boys I've Loved Before, Jenny Han. And I'm excited to get to these so I can watch the new TV series that just came out on Amazon Prime. Another movie um, that came out because of the book is Along for the Ride. This movie just came out on Netflix by Sarah Dustin and I'm excited to get to this one as well this summer. And I only have like four more. So I have Island Affair by Priscilla Oliver. Oliveras and I have no idea what this is about but this is obviously a very summery beachy cover that I cannot wait to read this summer and it looks like it is a there's no fake dating desire like this so it looks like it is a fake dating romance that is all I need to know fake dating summary setting I am ready for that and then I have The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa this just came out this year and it is the sequel to why can't I think of the name? It is a sequel to The Worst Best Man. I cannot believe I just blank, like had a brain block like that because The Worst Best Man was one of my favorite books of summer of 2020 and really excited to get to the sequel. It is a fake dating scenario as well and The Worst Best Man was also fake dating. And then I have The Lion's Den by Catherine St. John. This is kind of like a murder romance fiction, really have no idea, but it just does look like the perfect summer read and it is in a lot of summer recommendations, so I cannot wait to get to this one. And it says, Belle likes to think of herself immune to dizzying effects of fabulous wealth, but when her best friend Summer invites her on a glamorous getaway to the Mediterranean aboard her billionaire's boyfriend's yacht, the only sensible answer is yes. Bell hops, hopes the trip will be a much needed break from her stalled acting career and uniquely humiliated waitressing job. But once she's aboard the luxurious lion's den, it soon becomes clear that this jet setting holiday is not as advertised. So that is that one. And last but not least is a birthday gift that I got from my friend Sabrina. And it is Be Still My Heart by Emily McIntyre and Sav R. Miller. And I am really excited to get to this one. It is a romantic suspense and it's between a detective and not sure about the other one, but this one has been recommended by Amanda at Gender Snapped Reads and I'm really excited to get to this one this summer. The cover is beautiful. I'm excited for a romantic suspense. And yeah, that is all I have for my summer TBR. If we have anything in common, definitely let me know. And if you see anything on here that I haven't added to my summer TBR, definitely let me know that as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!